Greetings friends, uh, this is Eugene Blind and suddenly this is the EU4 Beginners Guide. Yeah, I know I have, uh, haven't done it for, uh, for some li large uh, periods. Actually, I have done it, I don't even remember, one or two gu such guides. But yeah, now I've decided to maybe in some case restart this kind of guys because i think a lot of people are searching for some such type of guys because eu4 is really hard for game for beginners you should take into account just tremendous amount in, in, uh, of information not always it is um, obvious so many uh, aspects of the game many uh, some modifiers or um, one modifier can affect an, uh, another one one resource or resource can affect another uh, others and so on and so on so it's uh, this game is really hard for those people f who haven't played haven't played it at all or haven't played uh, global strategies at all that's how I, wh that's why I decided to uh, continue this type of guys so and today uh, we will speak about uh, cores and claims in EU4 this is uh, in my opinion one of the main aspects of the game one of the main aspects of your expansion uh, due to these uh, two things well so let's switch to the game exactly well Cores and claims. What is it? They are also called shields. Uh, we can see them uh, on the province um, province bar. Uh, here they are. So, what's uh, claims and cores? First, let's speak about the claim. Claim is uh, you uh, the way you can tell that you want some province, that you want to take some of province. Here. Byzantium uh, uh, treats uh, this province as a core one, uh, as well as Ottomans considers this uh, province as a core province. And for example, Constantinople uh, we have uh, made so Ottomans uh, has a claim on this province. So what's the difference once again? Claim is uh, um, uh, claims can be fabricated only on the provinces which you do not own so you can't fabricate claims on your own province obviously on the other hand cores uh, can be made only on your own provinces at the beginning of the game uh, there is a situation as with Ottomans then one of your core provinces belongs to another state but it's only due to at the beginning of the game or if you lose the war and have to cede some of your provinces to an enemy so then it will be a situation uh, when you, mm, then your core provinces will be will belong not to you but at a, even in this situation you are not coring the province you just give it to somebody so you just need to remember claims on somebody uh, on the somebody's provinces course on your own well how to make a claim first so uh, the first uh, and the easiest uh, way to make a claim it is uh, to send your diplomat so in turn for example uh, let's do it in term no we have sent it already so here you choose uh, right from the beginning choose the country choose the enemy's province potential enemy's province uh, click on the shield go into covered action uh, diplomatic action bar and build spy network click it here will be some warnings continue so done here you can see that the process the process is where is it here is it. The process will start. So uh, then you reach 20 points, so it will increase due to some amount every month. Then you reach 20 points of uh, spine network. 
uh, you will be able to fabricate a claim. So here we have already done it. So we have done a claim. You need to press this button, fabricate a claim on the enemy's province. And so you will be, you will receive uh, a claim here in the bar. And at with this you will receive a casus belly on the enemy's, uh, on the enemy. So it doesn't mean that you should conquer this province in this war. It doesn't mean at all. It just gives you a casus belly. Yeah, it's better to take this province, uh, but why I will tell you later then we'll speak about uh, course so it's how um, the so-called temporary claim is made this is the first kind of uh, claims there is uh, the second one the permanent claim uh, the um, advantage of this claim is that um, fir first advantage is that it uh, reduces the coring cost by 25%, I haven't mentioned it, and while the temporary claim, the, which one is made by your diplomat, reduces the coring cost only for 10%. And uh, it will not disappear. Surprise, the temporary claim, which is made by your diplomat, will disappear in 25 years if you haven't called this, conquered this province. So yeah, if you make a claim, so be my guest, go and try to uh, to um, conquer it. If not, goodbye claim and do all this all the job once again. So if uh, the permanent claims are so good, why shouldn't you make them? Good question. Because you can't. Yeah. You can't do it by your own. Permanent claims can be achieved only through some kind of missions, uh, which you can uh, uh, which you can try to take, or to while forming some of the countries. For example, Russia, uh, Bharat, Hindustani, and some others. So, for example, if you form the Bharat, it is the Indian subcontinent, you receive uh, permanent claims on the entire Indian uh, supercontinent. So, on the in the, all the Indian provinces, which which will not belong to you at this moment, at the, in the moment of forming Bharat, you will get the claims on all of them, with a twenty-five discount on. Uh, on uh, making a making cords and they will not disappear but until the game end so it's quite nice but that's why this tool is um, can be used by far uh, by not all countries only some few of them so that's why the temporary claim which your diplomats can do will be your main tool one for most of the countries will be even the only tool for expansion it's why not it's easy you just send diplomat you need to spend no any resources except maybe your diplomats time if you have some really uh, better ways to use your diplomat. Yeah, maybe it's um, not so good uh, to waste it on fabricating things. But in as I remember, if you have free diplomats, for sure you won't have uh, uh, find some extremely good job for all of them except fabricating claims. So at least one or better two of them should be spent on this uh, task. One, for example, one diplomat will be working on your um, just uh, first war enemy, while the second will be uh, will fabricate claims on your enemy, which will go after the first war. That's how it works. How it should be. So, uh, uh, how far can you fabricate claims? Unfortunately, you can fabricate claims only on your neighbors. So, Byzantium, in this case, uh, in case of Ottomans, Byzantium, Valachia, Serbia, 
uh, Venice, uh, Athens, Genoa. So uh, only the name Moldavia is an example. Uh, only uh, province which border you or which you have um, a sea pass, a direct sea passage. So for example, in this case, Crete uh, is a potential target for making a claim. Uh, while, 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 for example, so uh, Crimea for as as an option, uh, Kafar, you can fabricate claim on this. While um, Theodora, it is impossible because um, they have a port here in this uh, sea, and you haven't got. Um, you are not in the same sea zone. That's why you, it won't be possible for you to fabricate the claims. Yeah, there is one trick in the age of uh, discovery. You have, you may, uh, if you have achieved some of this uh, task, you may choose this um, option, and due through this, you can. Mm, so uh, you can make. A claim from the province you have already made a claim how it works so you may fabricate a claim on Kaffa and it will treat in some case it as it will be your already uh, core province as it belongs to you and from this province you can fabricate claims on all the rest with the rule I mentioned before with uh, direct uh, the border or the direct access through the sea zone so that's how it works. Um, so and the last thing I want to tell you about claims. So mentioned all temporary claims, permanent claims, how you can make them. Cost maybe yeah. Let's uh, about the cost. As I already said, it will cost you twenty uh, points of spy network for the first claim. If you want to make more than the one claim for uh, the same country, the second one will uh, cost five points more. So not five, but it will be 25 for the second claim, 30 for the third, and so on and so on. Uh, that's why, uh, for example, if you are in case of... Uh, in case of whom? I th okay, in case of uh, Muscovy and Lithuania, it won't be possible for both of them to fabricate um, most of the territories of their opponents first due to borders and even if, for example, Russia will e eat all its minerals, so they have a quite large uh, um, border state, uh, a lot of border states, it will be extremely hard it will just take a lot of time and in some cases if you already have uh, three or four uh, claims it's already enough it's uh, not so many wars you will leave than you will uh, especially at the beginning uh, this guide made for beginners not for pro gamers uh, at the beginning uh, you won't uh, you will hardly take uh, some uh, i don't know 10 provinces Four or five, it will be already enough. Um, so, how to if you want to reduce the uh, time of fabricating claims and the cost? How can it be done? Every country ex uh, can do it through the spy nationality group. First uh, idea: spy network construction. Uh, Plus fifty. So, mm, so no, no. It means that it works on the opponent. So, uh, cost to fabricate claims. Here is it. Here, uh, mm, here it is. Uh, 
the amount of po or spine and network points you need to fabricate a clamp so it will be 25 by 25 percent less uh, do you need it is it uh, some kind of must-have idea i can't say so so in all my games i haven't taken the uh, spinach idea even one even at even once I have never taken it because all these advantages they're too specific it's just for some certain type of the game if you want to of course if your national ideas uh, suit this idea group well maybe yeah maybe you can do it but in most aspects um, some modifiers on fabricating claims they're not so crucial actually it's uh, all about the good management of your diplomats so first uh, to wait for um, for the first war to fabricate a claim going to war while this or even at the beginning if you have something like three diplomats the second one all already starts fabricating claims on the second potential target you end the first war going to already have claims on the second target going to war of them and so so i think the idea is clear that's why i don't think that uh some for example espena should be taken only for uh for this so uh for redu uh, reducing the core cost is much more significant so and uh, that's uh, just a way to turn into to turn to chorus already so about claims i hope everything is clear if something will be unclear so comments are welcome i'll try to answer or if for example i haven't mentioned some crucial aspect of this option but seems to me i've told you about all the main aspects so chorus of course, uh, going into game, then you have conquered a province. So claims help you to make a casus belli and go into war. Cores are uh, uh, used in order to make this province yours. To tell everybody that now this province belongs to you. So this this is done in the same way as fabricating a claim. So here you have a fabricate a claim. Just an example, it's already our bronze, but the same will happen when you have conquer will conquer a bronze. It will have the same uh, make a core. And here will be mentioned how many points will you need admin points. For coring you use your admin points. That's why it's once again it's uh, the some uh, I ideas which reduce the coring cost are much more significant. Your spy network points <clears throat> they can be easily done by a diplomat. Admin points, especially admin points, they are used on a wide range of uh, options, text, uh, mainly, mainly text, some ideas, so uh, increasing your development, a lot of aspects, the admin points can be used in much better way. So if you can save them, that's always nice. Uh, about the price, how many uh, points do you need to core a province? So first, uh, in default, uh, you need to uh, spend 10 admin points for one development of the province. Okay, let's go into, can, um, into Byzantium. So, no, here is it. So Constantinople uh, uh, has uh, 23 development. So in base, you will have to 23 uh, development by 10 uh, points per development. 230 po admin points you need to core the province entirely. But you have uh, we have ma made a claim or anti-claim gives us a bonus minus 10% of coring cost 
that's why the total cost will be 207 so 10 percent from 230 it will be 23 230 minus 23 207 nice mathematic yeah yeah uh, so it will be like this but there is one uh, interesting aspect in this situation so uh, due to the states and territories mechanic so it's the uh, same for another, it's a good topic for another guide, but still. So uh, in, U, in U4 there are territories and states. So the difference is in uh, the um, uh, local autonomy, this one, uh, local autonomy floor. So territories, uh, uh, local autonomy can be less than 75%. So the effective uh, the efficiency only 25 percent so you can receive only 25 percent of province manpower sellers income and so on that's that's not so not really good so you should be, uh, you should think that it's better to have uh, states so because state uh, haven't got any floor uh, local autonomy floor it can be zero so you can receive uh, the uh, efficiency of your province will be 100%. The total efficiency, absolutely, it will give you all that it can. Uh, but the states have some other negative bonuses, as in, uh, the state maintenance, so you need to spend some money. And uh, the main thing is that um, you can have limited amount of states. So, for example, Ottomans have. Uh, now have 11 states out of 15 in uh, maximum so we have Ottomans can in this uh, case can have only three additional states uh, uh, that's that's why the current process usually let's switch for example into Valachia usually it goes into two stages if uh, the potential if you have conquered a province and it doesn't belongs to any state so Constantinopolis as we can see here belongs to or uh, to, uh, to one of our states already so when we will conquer them they will be a part of the state not a territory that's why the cost here is um, mm, is shown the full cost here, for example, Valachia, their province is not a part of any other state. That's why here we have a nice discount. Is territory minus 30%, minus um, 50%. In some, you can think that it's nice, minus 50% 50, 50 discount. Why not? Even for territory. But you receive a territory core it means that province will be yours all the negative effects of uh, core provinces uh, increased uh, uprising rate uh, increased um, how is it? Um, our extension and so on so all the negative effects of the core province will be reduced that's nice but going back to territories uh, negative effects the local autonomy floor will be 75 percent but only for the half of the price but 75 percent that's uh, the price for this discount if you are going to turn this uh, um, the area in which uh, to which this problem belongs into a state you will have to pay the second half so this discount only mm, not actually a discount it's just a two-stage coring process if you are not going to turn this uh, mm, province into state <coughs> sorry then okay you will save half of the price if you are going sorry but in any case you will pay the full price okay yeah there is an option that you have conquered uh, uh, some 
amount of uh, provinces, the uh, territories, then you have reached uh, received some uh, discount, for example, open some national idea which reduces the current cost, then yeah, there is some sense to not to make it a state it, uh, as a, um, right away, or you have <coughs> you think that you will conquer some uh, better provinces in future, more de uh, better developed, and so on, so on. It's not uh, just uh, you mustn't make all the newly conquered provinces turn them into state. So you, but you need to keep in mind that you will have to if you are going if you want to do it to turn the province into state, you will have to pay the second half. Uh, once again, about the cost of doing it. So in base, it is ten points per development rate, but it will a positive aspect. It won't be more than three hundred points. Yeah, positive effect. So you will have to have to spend, for example, for some rich, well-developed provinces as Milan, for example. So you will have to pay not more than three hundred admin points for one province, just for one province. Not more. That's a good um, option, yeah? So if your development will be 31, it won't be 310. It will be still 300. It's the maximum price. We, even if uh, with some modifiers or with uh, due to development, you should pay more. So it will be 300. That's the, four, the uh, top four. What's about the lower four? Unfortunately, it also exists. That's the negative aspect. If due to all modifiers, some good national ideas, uh, permanent claims, uh, idea groups, uh, discounts, we will speak about them a little bit later. You have you have calculated that the current price should be zero. So unfortunately, no, it won't be. So the lowest amount will be two admin points per development not less even with all the possible modifiers you have collected it will be two points not more not less mm. uh, once again not more than 300 admin points for a province 300 and not less than two points per development. As I can remember, all the provinces in the game are at least have uh, three points of development. Maybe somebody has two. For example, without manpower. Maybe. I don't, uh, so I haven't uh, colonized for a lot. Uh, so maybe as, um, in Europe, for sure, there are at least three. So, in most good way, you will have to spend six admin points for the full, uh, in order to make the full core, to make, for example, to make a province, to turn it into a state. Yeah, six, even for such a province is a good price, because then you can develop it. That's about the basic aspects. Uh, so, okay, where you can core, how far you can core. So the good uh, option here is that it is not as with claims, you c uh, the cores are treated as the colonies, so the colonial range is uh, used here. If you have a colonial, so you can, for example, if you have managed somehow to go into war with uh, Mamluks and you have uh, conquered, uh, taken some of these lands, if the colonial la uh, range allows you to core them, then you will do it. If it is not, but with Mamluks you should have enough of, an, enough of it, so you will be able to core it. In terms of claims, you won't be possible to fabricate claims on these lands, because different sea zones. Uh, that's how it's uh, that's how it is done uh, mm -hmm. yeah there is one trick uh, to to claims yeah I forgot to mention it uh, 
uh, if you have the fully exploration idea fully made, you can fabricate a claim on every province of the colonial region, so South, uh, Central and North America. The same thing with... Uh, no, with uh, uh, exp uh, expansion, this the same, but with the trade companies region. So it's Africa, India, uh, Australia. I don't remember. Is no, there is a colonial. It is a um, colonial region. So uh, Africa, India, Asia. That is it. So. On, if you have completed expansion ideas, you can fabricate claims on every province of these regions. So, nice, um, um, nice thing, as, I, as, as from me. But uh, going back to cores. So, how can we reduce the coring costs? So, actually, every country have only two types of doing this. Every country. I want to mention it first is to take this idea co-creation uh, the administration idea group the second idea it will reduce the co-creation cost by 25 percent so idea groups are for all countries that means that every country can take it and use it the second option is as you can already you have already seen are claims here uh, we have a claim that means that uh, co-creation cost will be less by 10 percent with permanent claims it will be 20 minus 25 percent uh, but as i already said permanent claims are not for all countries while the temporary claims are for all so every country ha can have a discount of 35 uh, percent for coring for coring provinces every all the rest is only about some certain countries for example ottomans have a really nice idea uh, national idea first uh, national idea which allows them to reduce the coring cost by additional 20 percent so with uh, previous two options mentioned uh, it will be minus 55 half so right. you can imagine that you will uh, by spending money only on the territory core course in uh, in real situation you can have the same can spend the same points for making it a state something like that I hope you understand what I was going to tell you so nice discount uh, some government types uh, reduces the cooperation cost. For example, uh, for Indian nation, for Hindu uh, nations, if they follow Shiva, uh, the same, they will have uh, some discount and so on and so on. So there are all, all the rest are some specific modifiers for some certain countries. Uh, that's why I won't tell you there are a lot of them. Uh, Two main claim, not so giant, not so tremendous, not so tremendous, but still, admin points. If you can save admin points, any monarch points, but especially admin points, you should do it. And the second one, idea group. That's a more tricky situation because the admin uh, admin uh, administration idea group. The ideas there are specific, so to take it only for this this second idea, I don't know. Maybe to the beginning it will be good in order to develop them to uh, cancel it and choose something else. Maybe yes, this it is possible. Well. Now I think I tell you everybody everything so about the price how to make them Where can you make them and what bonuses it will give you so need to make uh, So to go into war fabricate a claim get a casus belli go into war take the province 
core it into two stages or if you if it's already part of your state into one and everything will be fine your currency will prosper and you will conquer more and more and more yeah that's uh, all for now I hope this video was useful for you if you have some opinion about this guide if you have some questions if you have some proposals everything is welcome in comments if you like the video press like and especially uh, the main thing to have to say thanks is to subscribe on the channel and you will see uh, such kind of videos in future yeah by the way in comments you can uh, set what kind of videos you what kind of uh, mechanics maybe or something or some tools you want to uh, you want to see in future guides or maybe religion uh, some warcraft uh, yeah warcraft is a hard theme i don't <laughs> i don't know how the, the if it will be a useful guide for me from this but still if you have some proposals welcome in comments and for now that's all thanks for your attention i hope it was useful i think the way of um, giving information for me was also suitable uh, a little bit spontaneous but still well once again thanks a lot and waiting you on my channel likes comments still uh, also i'm waiting and uh, goodbye my friends for now bye bye